Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Motoro and we are here with another video. And like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samai aka, The Real OG, Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about installing the most important files for the latest game version 1.57. So the files that you need to download is obviously Scuttle V. Make sure you download Scuttle V, I will be downloading that, that now. And download Scuttle V and then go and download Scuttle V dot net. Okay and go down to the zip file and download that as well. Make sure it is the latest version and then download native UI version 1.9.1 .1. and I will leave this inside my description below and then download pack file limit adjuster and I will leave this inside my description below as well. Make sure it is the same version and then download heap limit adjuster and I will leave this inside my description below as well. Download game config as well and I will leave that inside my description below. And download simple trainer, download menu and make sure you scroll down and then now click on your menu SP zip file and then download menu. And then, lastly, download the Enable All Interiors, and I'll leave this inside my description below as well. So make sure you download all of the files that's inside my description, and then we can get started. Now, once you have completed that, then make sure you do download OpenIV and install that as well. And as you guys can see, when I go to my game, go to your game, hover over it, right-click, and open file location. So as you can see that my folder is completely brand new. There's absolutely no mods inside my folder. So since there's no mods, okay, and my folder is updated, a big fat warning, you must, okay, make multiple folders, okay? All you gotta do is right click and copy the folders and I'll paste it like that, okay? Just paste it, okay? But I already made um, two folders, so so yeah. Now, the reason why I say make multiple folders, so you can name one folder as, like, let's, let's just say, make this folder for online. So you can go online for that folder. And now you can make this folder over here for, um, for all of HKH191 um, mods. Uh, HK H199 what there okay. Now you must leave the original folder alone. Now the reason why you must leave it alone because just in case if you muck up one folder or if you destroy one folder you can come back to the original folder and now you can just copy it and then paste it over again and now you can delete that folder that you destroyed. So make sure that you guys do make multiple folders because it's really important that you must have a backup folder. And once you have finished with that, then go back inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder and then minimize that and then go to your OpenIV and then we can start installing our mods. Open up your OpenIV, go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. This process will take a few seconds, it all depends on your PC performance. Once your application is open, then all you gotta do is go to your tools, go to ASI Manager, 
then go to ASI loader, install ASI loader, install openiv.asi then this application will open, just select yes then open camera, install close the application, then just minimize this for now now the next thing that we are going to do is open up our Grand Theft Auto V game folder and as you can see we've got a mods folder there now the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to install our Scuttlehook V. So open up your Scuttlehook V extract folder. And then all you gotta do is go into your bin folder, select your Scuttlehook V.dll and then put 8.dll. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up, just replace both files. Now exit out of your extract folder and open up your scuttlev.net extract folder. Then all you gotta do next, okay, is select all the files except for the text files and drag them all inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And then exit out of your extract folder. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now hover over your scuttlehookv.net.ini file, right click and edit. Make sure you go to reload key and now delete that and I type in insert. So make sure you spell it correct, not like me, okay? And then now after that, just exit and save, okay? Now the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to install our pack file limit adjuster and even heap file limit adjuster. And then next, open up your pack file limit adjuster extract folder. Then inside that folder, all you gotta do is select your INI file and your .asi file, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Exit out of your extract folder and I open up your GTA V heap adjuster extract folder and inside that folder there will be one file. Now all you gotta do is select your file and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Exit out of your extract folder and now the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to install our trainers. Open up your simple trainer extract folder, also known as trainer V. And now inside that folder, all you gotta do is select your trainer V.ini and .asi, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Next, exit out of your extract folder and open up your Mino extract folder. And now inside that folder, all you gotta do is select your menu stuff folder and menu.asi file and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And exit out of your extract folder. Now next, all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click refresh, right click again and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Now make sure that you spell scripts correct and make sure that they are all lowercase. Press enter once, press enter again. Now open up your release extract folder, also known as native UI extract folder. And now inside that folder, all you gotta do is drag your native UI.xml and .dll and drag both files inside your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder. And then all you guys gotta do next is go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, go to your update folder, right click, copy that folder, go to your mods folder, right click, paste your folder there. Now this process will take a few minutes, okay? Uh, all you gotta do is just minimize it and then go back out, okay, and now finish off installing your files. Now go back inside your scripts folder. And now we're going to enable all interiors. So open up your EAI extract folder. 
and uh, open up the EAI folder that's inside the extract folder and now uh, all you got to do very simple is select all the files and folder and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V scripts folder and then just refresh that folder over there and then there you go then now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and now basically we are all done I think so I'm going to pause the video and I'll see you guys when the installing is complete and we are back again so we've got five seconds left so uh, once it's complete then go back to your mods folder go to update go to time 64 then go to your DRC packs folder and all you gotta do is delete all the folders that's inside your DRC packs folder delete everything right click and delete and then wait for a few seconds and now it's done now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and now you got a complete clean GTA V modded folder right there and it's ready for you to add more mods in here and now we have finished installing our important files okay so before we do go into the game we need to install our game config so to install game config all you gotta do is open up your open IV then now go to edit mode select yes go to your mods folder go to update go to update.rpf go to common go to data scroll right down to the bottom and you will see gameconfig.xml right there then open up your GTA V config extract folder now inside that folder all you gotta do is open up your GTA config folder now the folder that I always open and that I always use is 5 times traffic and 5 times peds so open up your 5 times traffic and 5 times peds now all you gotta do is select your game config.xml and drag it inside your open IV and then that's all you gotta do exit out of your extract folder and then there you go now go to edit mode and then exit out of your open IV and then go to your Grand Theft Auto V game folder and right click and refresh your game folder and exit out of your game folder and now all you guys gotta do next is just go to your desktop right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and we are back in the game and as you guys can see we are in the game my game did not crash so that is pretty good now we're going to test to see if it does work okay so to open up your simple trainer menu all you got to do is press f3 and now it works see guys so it does work mods does work now let's press f8 to open up our menu and there it goes now let's go try out enable all interiors so as you can see on my map it is not really see it is pretty basic okay it's pretty basic but when i enable all interiors all you got to do is open up your phone go to your contacts now go right down to the bottom where it says enable all interiors then just make a phone call now the most important thing that you must do is go to change interiors and go right down to the bottom to misc options and now the most important thing that you must do is load mp maps on mod refresh now turn that to true and enable blips on your map true now if you want okay you can have random colors as well so make this true now with all the rest it is up to you it is optional you can change them if you want to but the most important thing that you must do is load enable maps and enable blips go back out and then go to refresh interiors wait for a few seconds then back out and now go on your keyboard and press insert now your game will freeze for only a few seconds and then there it goes 
Now, let's go and open our map. And then there it goes. All of the interiors is enabled, and now you can go inside the buildings. But I'm not going to go in there because it's just that I don't want the video to be long. Uh, I do have a limit of my video, so I don't want it to be over 20 minutes. So, um, yeah, that is it, guys. Okay, so the mod does work, okay, and I showed you guys the menus. So, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy playing GTA V with mods. And we are back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy playing your game. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing these files or any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out with that as well. So with that I said, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.